In communities where disparities in the healthcare system and mistrust are high, less than half of the African American and Latinx population in the Bronx currently have received the flu shot. Statistics show between 2015 and 2018, New York City residents contracted the flu five times higher than other populations. Now, along with the COVID-19 pandemic, a severe flu season could be devastating to Bronx residents, many of whom who have underlying health conditions. Recently, Bronx Reach, the Institute for Family Health, launched a Bronx Flu Fighters campaign to increase flu vaccination rates here in our borough. Joining us now to share more details of the program is the program manager of flu vaccine program at Bronx Health Reach, the Institute for Family Health, Mariah Burns Zaloff, and also the pastor of the Church of God of Prophecy, Bishop Earl McKay. And we welcome you both to the show. Thank, thank you for having us. And Mariah, I'll start with you. I'll ask the question about participation. I guess when we look at the borough of the Bronx, maybe not uh, as good a participation rate. I know that's part of why you're really going front and center with this campaign. We are. We are. Um, the, we are finding that the numbers aren't where they should be um, as much as they have increased um, slightly this year. So the aim of this campaign is really to make sure, especially in the Bronx, that those numbers go up um, during the month of December. So we are doing a number of things at once. Um, we are working on promoting the importance of the flu vaccine, um, address, listening to and addressing concerns about the flu vaccine. People have around, there's a lot of hesitancy about getting the flu vaccine, offering those flu vaccines, and then providing community outreach support so that people um, we'll work with leaders in the community who want to talk about the, talk about the flu vaccine and the flu and educate the community. Um, so it's really um, a grassroots effort, working with churches, working with community centers, working with senior centers, um, and having people who are voices in the community share that information so that, um, you know, because those personal stories are really what and personal um, attention is really what helps people make mm -hmm. that decision. You know, it's a choice um, getting the flu shot, but um, the more people that get the flu shot, the more people that are protected. It's really important right now. You talk about one of those leaders, Bishop McKay is one of those leaders and who's opening his doors and also participating in this. Bishop McKay, what's the message that you give to congregation and community about the flu vaccine, given the fact right now that we know what's going on with the COVID vaccine and a lot of skepticism, and let's be honest, particularly in communities of color, how do you address the issue of getting people aware of the flu vaccine and not just aware of it, but actually taking it? Well, I think the convergence of the uh, virus and the flu season uh, makes it uh, so vitally important. Really appreciate Mariah reaching out to me, asking me to participate in this year. Uh, I got the flu vaccine for the first time. Mm. Uh, uh, of course, I felt I was healthy and, and it wasn't really necessary, but with convergence of the uh, both, uh, I found it necessary. And of course, our people are reluctant. We, we were kind of surprised uh, when we first started, reach out to folks, recognize they, no, they did not uh, want to participate. And we have to really, uh, and education is very important. So I appreciate uh, Bronx Health Reach and this education uh, aspect of it, you know, segment, which we will participate in going forward. So yes, yeah. it's no problem, but we're we are getting the word out. Yeah. Mariah, I know that you're going to a few churches. And so uh, I know that uh, uh, Tuesday, December the 8th, uh, of course, which was just yesterday, the New Covenant Christian Ministries. But coming up on Thursday, you've got the Tremont United Methodist Church. And then on Thursday, December 17th, uh, Walker Memorial Baptist Church. And uh, I know that you're targeting places where, you know, you can get a groundswell of community support. What have you heard from the community uh, with boots on the ground? I think that they're very enthusiastic about having um, the flu shot available in their community. Um, they're, um, they seem very grateful. We've had a lot of walk-ins um, and I keep getting more calls about it. Um, so there have been mosques that have contacted me, senior centers. Um, there's a lot of interest um, in making sure that people are covered, yeah. people are protected. 
And while I got you, talk to me about the benefit of this, right? Because so many people have these misconceptions. There's stereotypes out there. They're concerned with the flu vaccine. But please, if you can, as best as you can, why don't we debunk a couple of these things with regards to uh, the flu vaccine and the importance of it? Um, it's really important to get the flu vaccine because it protects you from three to four different viruses of the flu and um, protects you from illness. It protects you from, um, it reduces your risk of hospitalization. And also it's not just about our own, protecting our own bodies. It's also about the community. I mean, if COVID has taught us anything, it's that um, it's really important to be aware of, you know, your impact on other people. So, you know, if you, even if you're healthy, um, you can still be, you can still um, have no outward signs of the flu and be carrying the flu and infecting other people, especially people who are high risk, such as um, young children, older adults, pregnant women, people with heart disease, lung disease, diabetes, obesity. I mean, there's so many people who could be at high risk for complications of the flu. So it's really important to protect everybody. Yeah. And Bishop, you mentioned that this is the first time that you actually got the flu vaccine. What was the difference maker for you? Was it the fact that Corona was out there? Was it the fact that you had more information about the flu vaccine? What was the determining factor for you? The determining factor is Corona. Uh, mm -hmm. Indeed. Uh, of course, I, I not that I wasn't aware that I needed it. I just felt I was, was healthy, but Corona complicates matter. And uh, I just, this gives me an impetus now to be more vocal uh, as a pastor, I'm a shepherd. And so we care for body and soul. And so definitely I will use my experience uh, and, and uh, share it forward. Yeah. So Mariah, how do people uh, get more information with regards to this flu vaccine? Where do they get connected to know where to go? So we, um, you can share my um, email address and phone number, uh, work phone number. 212-633-0800, extension 1287. And my, you can share my email address. Um, we can provide you with support by uh, helping you set up a host and host a vaccination event. We're working with Walgreens to set those up. They're providing the vaccinations for um, at, um, basically at low cost or free. Um, we can, um, also work with you to provide um, education or share resources or teach somebody in your community to be a leader, to talk about the flu and the flu vaccine. Um, and of course, um, nyc.gov uh, uh, flu um, is another great resource where they have a listing of, um, I think it's a map where you can look up the cl location closest to you. Yeah. And Bishop, really quickly before we go, uh, just the importance for you as the church being a partner, what does it mean for the church uh, as a partner for this very important cause? Well, I think it's vital. The church is, uh, you know, because of the, the needs in our community, because of the fear, the doubt, I think it's vital uh, that we uh, join with this cause, join with this effort. We, we appreciate all that Bronx has really is doing around health issues in our community. And this is just one more uh, effort that I'm pleased to be a part of. Uh, well, Bishop Mariah, thank you so much for being with us on the show. We hope that more Bronx residents actually take part in this flu vaccination. Very important during a time like this with Corona, very rampant, and also the flu as well. And we've lost a lot of good people already. Don't lead to get anybody more sick, more infected during this time. Thank you so much uh, for all your great work. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. Well, we want you to stay with us. Guess what? We do have more to go here on open. We've got more show. We'll return right after this.